हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी शैल लर्न टू प्रूव मिड पॉइंट थ्योरम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स रिकॉल व्हाट इज मिड पॉइंट थ्योरम द लाइन सेगमेंट इन अ ट्रायंगल जॉइनिंग द मिड पॉइंट्स ऑफ एनी टू साइड्स ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल इज सेट टू बी पैरेलल टू इट्स थर्ड साइड and also half of the length of the third side see once again here it is the midpoint and a line joining this midpoint this line is parallel to this third side base and you notice it is also look it also looks half of this third side that is midpoint theorem the line segment in a triangle joining the midpoint of any two sides of a triangle is said to be parallel to its third side and also half of the length of third side let a triangle abc where d and e are the midpoints where d and e are the midpoints of ab and ac respectively now de is joined then we can see here de is a line and its third side is two sides are joined by one line that is de and its third side is bc now we shall do one small construction what is construction draw cf draw cf parallel to ab draw cf parallel to ab meeting de produced to f this cf meets this line df de that is produced to f produced means increased we see de has been produced to f now in triangle aed and cef ae is equal to ae is equal to ce why because e is the midpoint of ac aed ae d and ce f ce f these angles are equal why these are equal because these are vertical angle vertically opposite angles to know about this what is vertical vertically opposite angles alternate interior angles you learn two parallel lines and its transversal however i shall try to teach you in next video about this in details again d a e d a e and a c f are equal because these are alternate interior angles thus we have here proved three things 1 2 3 so we can say that a e d and c e f are congruent and by a s a congruency property why a s a <coughs> because here we have proved two angles two angles and one side as we know that these two angles are congruent and according to congruency a d is equal to cf ad is equal to cf cpct what is cpct corresponding part of congruent triangles these are corresponding part here see here one side here one side here de is equal to df de is equal to sorry de is equal to 
EF, DE is equal to EF, CPCT, again, corresponding part of congruent triangles. Again, AB is parallel to CF, AB is parallel to CF, as we have shown in our construction. As AB is parallel to CF, we can say BD is parallel to CF. BD is parallel to CF. AD is equal to BD. How AD is equal to BD? Because D is its midpoint. AD is equal to CF. As we have proved above, AD is equal to CF because these AD is equal to CF because these two are AD is equal to CF because these are congruent. We have already proved. BD is equal to CF. Because D is the midpoint. BD BD and CF will be equal here you see why because AD AD and BD is equal to CF from our proving 1 and 2 we can say BCFD B C F sorry B C F D is a parallelogram. How parallelogram? Its two opposite sides are parallel. As we have proved here that B D is equal to C F and B D is equal to C F. B D is parallel to C F and B D is equal to C F. Two opposite sides are parallel. That means we can say this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Now, DF is parallel to BC. Why DF is parallel to BC? Because BCDF is a parallelogram. BCDF is a parallelogram. And we can say DF is equal to BC because these are opposite sides of a parallelogram. DF, we can write DF in different way that is DE plus EF. DE plus EF is equal to BC because DF and DE and EF are equal. So we can write DE plus EF is equal to BC. Note this point is actually very very important in midpoint theorem to understand. Again, we can say DE plus EF is equal to 2D. DE plus EF is equal to 2DE. We write that means suppose that EF is also DE and DE is itself DE because both are equal. So that we can say this is also DE. This is also DE. So thus we can write 2DE is equal to BC. This is, these two lines are actually very, very important in midpoint theorem. So, we can write DE is equal to BC by 2 as these two will come here. Or DE is equal to half BC. DE is equal to half BC. Now you see, you see that here we have proved third point. Now other in our fourth we have proved here DE is equal to half of BC. DE is equal to half of BC. And so our from 3 and 4 we can say DE is parallel to BC and DE is half of BC. This we had to prove. What we have to prove? To align joining the two midpoints 
मिड पॉइंट ऑफ टू लाइन्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इज पैरल टू इट्स थर्ड साइड एंड इट इज हाफ ऑफ द थर्ड साइड सो डी इज हाफ ऑफ द थर्ड साइड डी इज हाफ ऑफ द थर्ड साइड आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो